Hi, it's Lisa with An Appetizing Life, and I like to have a few recipes that are in my back pocket that will go with just about anything that are really versatile. So I'm gonna share with you today my recipe for sauteed broccoli. This recipe uses fresh broccoli, and it's seasoned with salt and pepper, sauteed in a little extra virgin olive oil, and you finish it off with fresh lemon juice, a little fresh lemon zest, and for a little bit of heat, if you want, some crushed red pepper flakes. So let's get this going. There's a little process we have to do with the broccoli, so when you saute it, it won't be too hard. Because think back to when you were a kid and your mom or dad made your broccoli, and it was just not good, right? <laughs> I mean, it was boiled to within an inch of its life, and maybe it had a little salt and pepper on it, if you were lucky. This deserves a little bit better treatment than that. I'll show you how. So you might get the whole head of broccoli in the store, but my market had it in the stem. So I'm just gonna show you what to do. We're gonna cut off the little florets because that's what we're gonna use. And you could use your hand, or you could use your knife again. And you just wanna make it into little bite-sized pieces. Now don't throw this away. I know it's not that pretty, but we can shave this off and I promise you, you're gonna love it. It's delicious. You just need to clean it up a little bit. You wanna cut off the tougher ends. That's really where the toughness is. Now what I like to do to help get things started is just to take off those little stalks that are sticking out. Then I like to take my peeler and just shave it down. And if you're wondering how far to peel or what it should look like, you can see that it just looks a little bit softer, a little smoother. Now I know that seems like it's a lot of work, but honestly, trust me, this is really, really delicious. Take the time to do it. And if you don't like it, you can tell me, I, I won't be offended, but it's good. Now we're just gonna come in and make slices. You see how easily my knife is going through? After you've prepped the broccoli, you're gonna wash it and drain it and dry it really well. Prep your garlic. and I will be using three cloves of garlic. You can add more if you want. Wash your lemon really well, and we're gonna take some of the zest. Now don't go too far, because if you get the white pith, it's very bitter. So you just wanna stay right on the surface so you can get that. I'm going to get the juice of one lemon. And just a quick note, because I have done this myself, zest the lemon first before you try to squeeze it, because trying to do it the other way around, not good. So everything's prepped and measured out, so now we're going to blanch the broccoli. And I have about a, a hefty tablespoon of salt that I'm gonna put in there. And I prepared an ice bath that, after I let this cook in the water and make it a little bit softer, I'm gonna dip it into the ice bath and that'll stop the cooking. So I'm gonna let this blanch in the water for about a minute. We just wanna get it brightened, soften it up a little bit so it's not so chewy and tough when you saute it. But have that ice bath ready. because so we're gonna take it out of there and dump it into the ice. So look at that beautiful green color. Now I'm gonna drain this and dry it really well and then we'll be ready to saute it. Look how pretty that is. And it's a little bit softer now. So I wanna make sure that these are really dry because if I try to saute them and they're a little bit damp, you're gonna start steaming the vegetables so you're gonna lose that crispness. 
Christmas. Christmas? Christmas. Crispness. Crispness. You know what I mean. So I've got my pan, my big pan, over a nice medium high heat. And I'm going to add the extra virgin olive oil. All that good garlic. I know I said three, but I think there might be four in there. Whatever you want. If you like a lot of garlic, use that. If not, it's completely up to you. And I'm just gonna let this cook for about a minute. When I start to smell the fragrance of the garlic, I don't wanna overcook it, because then it'll brown and burn. Now we're gonna add in the broccoli. And I'm gonna let this cook for about three to five minutes. I just want the broccoli to get tender but not mushy. Sometimes you cook broccoli and it goes a little brown, which is not very appetizing to look at, nor do you want to eat it. But blanching it keeps it a nice bright green color, and uh, I think that's pretty. So this went for about five minutes, and I've turned the heat off. I'm going to take it off the heat. And now I'm going to add all the seasoning and a little bit of fresh lemon juice, lemon zest, salt, pepper, and for a little heat, which is optional, red pepper flakes. Give that a nice toss. And that's how you make a really quick, easy, flavorful side dish. Sauteed broccoli, garlic, fresh lemon juice, and a little bit of red pepper flakes to give it a little kick. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe so you know every time I put a new video out, which is on Fridays. And um, happy cooking. Though your heart is breaking <laughs>